Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Now today is Bachman Collectors Club Part 7. Um, well, I assume it's Part 7, I think it is. Part 6, uh, I may insert a small link right down there. Um, that Part 6 with the, uh, the Collector Club Wagon for 2015. A lovely um, tanker, 14 ton tanker from Bachman. And it was a really lovely, uh, lovely model. So this is the first edition of the Barkman Times since I have resubscribed. And first of all, we've got a lovely, lovely E4 on the front there. Um, uh, the new uh, Hornby, um, Hornby, gee, better not say that too loudly. Uh, the new Barkman E4 um, special edition in Birch Grove um, LBSC livery. Lovely cover on the front. This is the autumn 2015 uh, edition of the Times, the Buckman Times, and uh, this is what I received a couple of days ago. So uh, take a look at the front cover. You've got a uh, new limited edition model, the Buckman Story, Midland 4F, the project layout on Hiley, Lily put Kiss EMUs, goodness knows what they are. I haven't looked at the foreign stuff in here yet. Um, Era 2. Uh, London and Northwestern Railway, I think. So yes, and then they're basically just repeated there. So we'll open it up. Uh, just got the contents and the welcome from the editor. Let's see if we can get you guys in a bit closer. Probably as close as you're going to get. I'll probably I'll try to do some fancy editing so you can see it in um, in well close. <laughs> So yes, you've got this brand new uh, Collectors Club model uh, announced, Birch Grove, um, the London Brighton South Coast Railway E4 class, number 473 in Birch Grove. Uh, if we have a brief look, uh, 75 built between 1897 and 1903, entering traffic in 1898, so this is over 100 years old, well, if you can do maths. Um, it's BR number of, um, what, th 32473, and, um, it carried this when it was, um, when it was in service for British Railways. This particular example was withdrawn in, um, 1962 and purchased by the Bluebell, um, arriving in October. Uh, she was repainted into the umber livery that you see here. Or is it? Yes, 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 it is. Um, and operating for almost nine years before withdrawal in 1971, and the boiler was in need of some major work. And um, she returned to steam in 1998, and resplendent in this livery right here. Uh, she was repainted into BR Line Black in 2005, and after a brief two-year overhaul, finishing in 2010, she was repainted in Southern Green, as you can get a slight glimpse of there. So yes, a lovely new model for the Collectors Club. Um, I'm, I'm just aware that this is dragging on for three minutes already, so this may be a long video. Apologies in advance. So yes, next page. Got the new works report. You got uh, the new uh, the CAD drawings for the Mark IIs, the engineering sample for the Wickham trolley, Samples for the 20 ton tank wagon. These do look very nice. I must say they do look very nice and the lovely livery sample of the Great Western Hawksworth Auto Coach I just got new examples the the LMS uh, twins 10,000 and 10,001 and then some coaches or something uh, New in gauge stuff the new engineering sample of the 64 XX the 4MT, a very bright yellow 03, or 04 rather, or is it, is it, I'm not sure, let's have a look, uh, I think it's a engineer, a livery sample, I think, yes. The, the Barkman story, part 5, the blue ribbon rolling stock, um, this is uh, just the ongoing series in every issue explaining the history of Barkman, they explain when... The Mark One were in, the Mark One coaches from Barkman were introduced, and we all know that the 
Mark ones from back when are absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, we just got to uh, see the very old model rail magazine there with the not often you see that now the exclusive new Mark One carriages. So uh, that's quite funny. Um, some very foreign looking uh, class one five eight there on a Bangkok to Nong Nuch excursion in Thailand, I think. So yeah. Now this is uh, something which I've been following um, avidly. It's uh, this is in its second part now, and it's the um, build of Highley Station on the Sim Valley Railway. And Barkman is working with several heritage lines to produce scene craft buildings for modelers in N and O scales. And Highley Station is one of these buildings. Um, and a donation is being made by Barkman to the Sim Valley Railway for every purchase made of these buildings. So that is great of Barkman to do that. Very good PR. And so this is basically they're building in a double O gauge version of it. So that's really cool. Um, you know, we've got lane track, baseboards, buildings. It's really, really quite nice. And you've got more of that. Um, uh, new edition part 27 of Wagon Works. Uh, this is exploring Barkman's... Um, well, all of the wagons that they've ever made. So, um, very uh, interesting there. Nice, good read. Uh, and indeed, I will have to increase the speed at which I'm going. You've got the London North Western Railway explained, some very nice photos there, some lovely black and white heritage photos, and all sorts of information. And um, we've also got the Preserve Coal Tank number 1054 performing during the 2014 Barkman Collectors Club Day at the Keith Leamworth Valley Railway. And I breathe. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's very interesting, and I'm not even going to bother to pronounce that, because I will get it wrong, I know I will. <laughs> it looks like a gardening skills, oh I see, making a, um, a rose arch uh, for station platforms, that's quite interesting, you've got a finish one there. Um, yeah, very interesting. You've got the normal woodland workshop, this time it's exploring this new just plug lighting system. I'll put some links down below of where you can get hold of this and various videos about it. It seems very interesting. Um, I myself probably won't go into it. I'll do the old fashioned wire up to switches and everything because uh, I just like to work like that. But uh, when I do wire up Cruisley Road of course that'll, that's a uh, plan sometime in the next uh, 12 or so months. Mind you, I say that, and it'll probably happen in about three years. Anyway, so yeah, got some cool information, how to easily light up buildings, but, you know, I don't do things the easy way. London Underground, uh, very interesting. Some uh, lovely uh, London Underground stock there, and it explains uh, all the different lines, the closures, rolling stock, and the part privatisation. And yep, another page of that. That's pretty cool. And the Midland Railway Fowler 4F. So this was a huge class. 772 locomotives were built. That is um, quite, quite large. Uh, it's got some lovely photos here. Very interestingly, one with a snow plow, which looks like it's just had a thing, uh, just had a towel draped over the smoke box, but <laughs> oh well. Uh, yep, about to go on to some ploughing pl 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 duties on the Settle and Carlisle. Very interesting yet again. And uh, the normal coupling corner. Uh, this is fitting NEM pockets to older rolling stock with the sort of the medium size couplings. And um, there is only seven left of the Graham Farish 00 scale anniversary vans issued in 2010. So yes, we've got um, Brel Derby, Works, very interesting photos here. Um, class 20s, 43s, HSTs, also known as. 08s, uh, 45 peaks, and 20s, and more 20s. M many 20s. Um, but yeah, and then the prototype HST, which is uh, being preserved, or is preserved at Great Central Railway in Nottingham, which is very interesting. So American stuff, won't go through that, because, you know, me and American... Uh, some very interesting double-decker EMUs there. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. And some models of them, in fact. Um, 
more stuff on the underground and more like the new S stock appearing on the London Underground Network uh, beginning in 2009. So yes, uh, a lot of information there. That was very cool. And the brand new Bachman uh, S stock which they produced in association with, I think, the London Transport Museum, possibly. I think, um, but correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, and then details for the latest event, a mecca for modelers. We visit Modelers Mecca in the West Midlands. Oh, I like all the boxes up the back. Um, Buckman Dealer News, more Dealer News. The Battle for Barnsley. It sounds like a war, doesn't it? <laughs> um, and then, yep, more dealer news. Locomotion, Simon Kohler uh, is the new manager of, or, yep, manager of Locomotion Models at the NRM Shildon. I would love to visit there one day. But this is my favourite picture. All of the Buckman. Look at the Buckman. All the Buckmans. <laughs> It looks so cool, and then there's a little girl buying a big Percy, <laughs> so that's cool. And a new tank for limited edition for the Wally show. A new the Pioneer, the very first class twenty for the National Collection and Miniature Collection, collection, collection. Um, lovely, that looks actually really nice. And then this, yes, it was the London Transport Museum announces the new S stock models. So. Yeah, oh, there's more. There's another page. Um, new commissions, uh, limited supplies of the Buckman Rail Freight Class 85s, and the new Class 20, which was covered in Part 5. Um, so if you would like some more information on that, check out Part 5. Um, I have created a playlist on Cruisley Road 4472, the YouTube channel, to um, for you to go and uh, browse the whole series. Uh, and yeah, and then we got the 2014-15 photographic competition, which I'm tempted to enter, actually, um, because overseas railways, I can do that. And that would be the last page. So, all in all, a very, very nice edition this month of the Bachman Times. Uh, the Bachman Collectors Club series is now in its second year. And so I'm. The series is evolving so much, and it's one of my. Well, it is basically the series of Cruiseley Road 4472. Um, as always, uh, links will be down below for stuff I have said will be down below. And as always, guys, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, like me on Facebook, take a look at some other Bachman Collectors Club videos, and as always, guys, see you later.